Hello, my name is Mike and I'm going to show you how to fix your Tacoma overhead uh, temperature and direction screen. Unfortunately, my Tacoma has 60,000 kilometers on it and is no longer covered under warranty. And the, the dealership wanted a heck of a lot of money to replace that unit and I wasn't willing to pay that. So I did some searching online and I figured out there was a quick fix for it. So if you open up the sunglass holder, there's one little Phillips head screw in there that comes out and then there's some clips on the back side of the panel and you just yank on the thing and it comes off. So the display is held in place by three Torx head uh, screws and this Torx head is a Torx 10, size 10. I've pulled out the temperature gauge out of the overhead unit and as you can see it has an LED display and a bunch of these little black items there. They are uh, surface mount resistors. And if you notice, there's two resistors there called uh, 510. Mine didn't seem to have any cracks in them. But what I ended up doing was I just uh, heated up my soldering gun and refloated the solder on that. And that seemed to do the trick on that. So what I also did was I took my multimeter and I went through all the resistors just to make sure that they were um, conducting and went through all the things to see if there's any visible evidence of burnt circuit board or a popped resistor or anything to that effect. So I have my uh, multimeter. So I changed the dial to ohm reading and then took the probes and went through and probed all the, the black little rectangle squares with numbers on them just to make sure that they were all um, had some type of connectivity through them. And as it turns out, um, the 510 actually had connectivity to them, but they weren't making proper contact on the circuit board. So just by refloating the solder, by using my soldering gun, uh, quickly refloat that, and it seemed to work just fine. My soldering station there which has adjustable temperature gauge. I've set the temperature at about 400 degrees. So make sure the tip of your soldering gun is really clean. Get the top temperature up to good and hot and quickly go over the resistors of that. You don't want to go too hot because if you do you actually will fry the internal workings of the resistor. So just a quick dab on each side, refloat the solder and that seemed to do the trick. If your vehicle is not under a warranty anymore, I wouldn't bother uh, <laughs> taking it in to uh, the dealer to make them fix it because they're going to charge you a lots of money and it's Realistically, it's, it's like a 10 minute fix, and all you need is a, a, any type of soldering gun to refloat the solder on it. I would uh, just pull it out, uh, refloat the solder on a couple of the resistors, and away you go. You know, what do you got to lose? It's, it's broken anyway, so if you really need it then, and it still doesn't work, then you can probably look into getting another one, replacement one.